Before we get into our training video, if by chance you found this video as a recommended video on YouTube, this training video is actually part of an extensive Corel Draw for Beginners training series from AdvancedTShirts.com. We have developed dozens of videos and we also have available on our website downloadable work along files that you can work with in Corel Draw while you're working through the training videos. Easily the best and fastest way to learn. If these videos are helpful to you, please take a second to add a like to the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be notified when we upload new video content. And of course, in the comment section below, you can post your questions or your Corel Draw video tutorial requests. In this video, we'll take a look at the zoom options and moving around in the Corel Draw workspace. There's a setting in the options that we want to have enabled because how I move around is I use my center mouse wheel. If I want to zoom out, I'll pull back. If I want to zoom in, I'll push forward. However, at this point in time, I'm going to go to the tools and options and I'll show you something because I want to be able to zoom directly into where I have my mouse cursor. It's quite a bit more accurate. I'll go to Workspace, come down here to Toolbox, and you can explore the options in Corel when you have time. There's quite a few of them. But I'm going to go to Zoom Pan Tool, and here I'm going to enable Center Mouse when zooming with the mouse wheel. And then I'll select OK. Now if I zoom out, and let's say I rest my cursor in the Corel Draw Workspace over the mouse image, push forward, I'll zoom right into that. Whereas before, it can kind of pan off in different directions before we enable that. Now I can pull back to zoom out, and I can push forward with my center mouse wheel to zoom in. I can also change to the pan tool by pressing and holding down on my center mouse wheel. And you can see now I got the pan tool, and I can move the entire workspace around. And I'll let that go. We also have some hotkeys and shortcuts. If I hold down Alt, I'll click and I'll push forward and I'll start scrolling horizontally. Forward, up, with the mouse wheel pulling back, down. I can also go and hold down Control. If I push forward, I'll start scrolling to the right. If I pull back, I'll start scrolling to the left. I've got some other keyboard shortcuts and hotkeys down here. One of the things, if you want to zoom in in smaller increments, you can hold down Shift, and you'll see that zoom in and zoom out is in smaller increments. This is holding down Shift. I'll pull back one click on the mouse wheel. Now I'll release that, pull back. You'll see I've gone back quite a bit further, holding down the Shift. And these keyboard shortcuts and hotkeys are available in the files that you can download to work along with the tutorials and videos from our website. And they're pretty handy and they're very good for practice. I can also hold down Alt, go to my arrow keys, press forward, I'll scroll up, press down, I'll scroll down, go to the right, go to the left, holding down Alt and using my arrow keys. Another thing is that if I'm scrolling from my center mouse wheel, if I hold down Shift, I will zoom in or zoom out in smaller increments. Now I'll release shift and zoom out, pull back one click. You can see that's quite a bit. Hold down shift, it's less. So that shift key is a hot key to help you control the speed with which you're zooming in and zooming out. Now I've released it and I'm zooming in and zooming out much faster. So a wrap here concerning the zoom options and moving around in the CorelDRAW workspace and we'll continue in our next video.